what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we talk about jeepers creepers 4 again jeepers creepers reborn imran adams got his interview the same interview that timo the director got and sydney craven i'm sure many others will get their interview at some point on that channel it's over like a minute long but he in this interview gave us some more details about the character of chase because we know he plays this horror nerd geek boyfriend chase who drags his girlfriend lane played by sydney craven along with him to the horror hound festival out in louisiana and they are going to be terrorized by the creeper with other characters of course so he said in this interview that chase is a little bit of a funny man he's into comic books but he's also very much into horror films which of course is what draws him to this event out in louisiana the horror hound festival so on top of that he did also give us confirmation that they have learned to or he learned like a different dialect all of them i guess will not be talking how they sound off camera so i guess they're going to be making them people who are just traveling to this to this event maybe they're from nearby they're not exactly from the poho area or the kissel county area or anywhere from east nine but they're just from somewhere else that's nearby those neighboring counties and they come here for the convention or the festival rather the other thing he said about chase that caught my eye was the fact that chase is a little bit of a conspiracy theorist and he is going to find out that some of his conspiracy theories are true now that got me thinking is this related to why he actually came here like an alternative motive compared to just wanting to go to this horror hound festival so what i'm thinking is it's been 23 years since the events of the first two jeepers creepers movies and we know this film is supposed to be picking up from that we're going to have a malnourished creeper very much smaller in terms of his bulkiness but the height of the actor playing him again is very much taller than jonathan breck by a few inches i think and then we have to consider the fact that over 23 years you know you have a lot of time to hear about the bat out of hell out of the taggart barn you hear all these different things of different stories that may have come out on reddit forums the internet growing and getting legs and the uh all these different devices that are out there now with many people coming online telling their stories about encountering this bat out of hell like creature that's in the on display at the taggart old taggart barn and sharing them on reddit forums or other type of websites maybe facebook groups discord servers dedicated to the creeper and his origin some people believing in the myth other people not believing in the myth who knows how popular this attraction that's out at the taggart barn has gotten thanks to the internet so what i'm leaning on is maybe chase is someone who believes in the myths of the creeper and the reason he wanted to come out here not only was because of the event but more so because he had a chance to go out to that old taggart barn go see the creeper on display and see what the legend is all about and hear it from the man himself who is kind of responsible for feeding into the legend and the myth because of the bat out of hell display that he has where people can come pay and see this thing etc i just feel like that's one thing that could be happening when it relates to conspiracy theories and how people who believe in the creeper they're considered conspiracy theorists and how taggart junior and senior are deemed insane and how they never recovered after they lost their brother their son all those years ago and i feel like that's just going to tie into one of the conspiracy theories maybe potentially for the character of chase he came here not just solely for this event he wanted to go to the taggart barn and see the creeper on display and then of course to sweeten the deal to make his girlfriend come out here he convinced her but in the back of his head he also planned this proposal now the proposal is something that he is really sincere about but it wasn't something he wanted to do at the time i feel like that could be like a little thing that causes a rift between the two at some point in the movie where he reveals you know while he was very sincere with his proposal that's not why he actually came here he actually came here to go talk to old man taggart or go out to that barn and see if the legends and the stories about the creeper were indeed true and the only reason he made the proposal a part of this was to sweeten the deal and give her something out of the experience not that he doesn't want to marry the girl but i feel like that's something that could play into making this a little bit more juicier for us the audience and getting the a more a of a uh, i guess conflictive dynamic between the two and not just have everything all i guess happy and cheerful between them give them some conflict and then have it all resolved at the end with him saving her of course from the creeper so he's going to get a lot more than what he bargained for because again i feel like that would be very unique to tie in since he did mention that chase is a little bit of a conspiracy theorist i'm wondering if that has to do with the mythology or mythos urban legends that have now grown into online legends regarding the creeper at this point in time so 
I feel like we could we could learn that and learn a lot about why Chase is actually here, opposed to what the synopsis is telling us that we could find out over the course of the film. Learning that the creeper and his legend has reached just like Loch Ness monster status online at this point as it relates to not only this general area but outside of this area other people who also heard stories about this area you know you can interact with people from all over the world you can have people in other countries who believe in the creeper i just feel like that'd be a very nice thing to explore about how the creeper has grown into this larger than life type of myth and of course you guys are going to find out that very much so this myth is real old man taggart is not crazy and chase is probably going to regret coming out to this event if that is indeed one of the conspiracy theories of this character that tie into the film i just think that would be something that makes you as the viewer a little bit more intrigued in this character he's already got the traits of being a horror fan horror film fan in the comic books i know a lot of you who watch me are probably also in the comic books if you watch marvel dc or just in general so he has all of these likable qualities to him already so we'll see how imran adams portrays the character on screen i know a lot of you have watched him in a, in a show i can't think of the name of it right now but i see a lot of people mentioning the show that he was in going on about how he's such a good actor so i feel like we at least can rely on him to give us a good performance at least from how other people responding to his other work seems like he'll give us a worthy performance i haven't seen too many comments about sydney craven but i have seen of her some of her show reels uh she seems like she'll be a fine actress in this role again i feel like she'll be a very fun final girl to follow follow probably the probably the best final girl since trisha honestly i know fans of minxie probably won't like hearing that minxie was okay and you know i've already said my sentiments on the third protagonist enough but i can't wait to see what happens with imran adams character of chase and how it all relates to the creeper if that is somehow related to his conspiracy theory aspects about the character so let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if, what did you think about the interview do you think we'll get more if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video